Hydizus has made a name for itself by creating cool, affordable audio gear that stands out. Well, now they're back with a new Kickstarter for an entry-level earphone set. It's super budget-friendly, has a sleek design, and even packs built-in DSP and amplification, perfect for anyone just getting into portable audio or looking for a solid, wallet-friendly upgrade. These are the ST2 Pro Nebula earphones. This nifty looking set comes with a 10mm dual magnetic dynamic driver set that's all about giving you more natural, better sound. It's got a lightweight yet tough composite diaphragm that keeps the audio clear and consistent. Plus, the design helps cut down on distortion and makes everything sound richer and smoother overall. The stock cable for these earphones actually has a built-in DAC chip right in the USB-C connector, which takes care of the audio decoder for you. It is actually pretty cool, plus the transparent housing shows off the circuit design, giving it a sleek premium look. So yeah, these earphones don't just sound good, they look great too. But is all this just clever marketing? Well, let's find out. So the burning question is, is this product truly worth that asking price? Well, let's first start by unboxing it. The packaging for the new ST2 Pro Nebula is relatively simple. Right off the bat, you see the ST2 Pro, and underneath there's the Nebula cable, a nice storage bag, three pairs of tips, a Type-C to USB-A adapter, and a very basic user manual. Nothing fancy, but it's got everything you need. I'm a sucker for a good leather pouch, and this one is really nice. It also has a pinch open snap close top, which is super convenient. Honestly, for the price, I'm pretty surprised they included something this nice. The USB-C cable is pretty long, which is obviously a good thing, but it can easily get tangled up. So you'll probably end up relying on the case more than you'd expect to keep everything neat and tangled free. Now let's dive into the design and build quality because honestly, it's a pretty unique looking pair of earphones. I've got to say, I'm a big fan of Hydai Zoo's ear shell designs and the Nebula fits just as snug and comfortably as you'd hope. The super light shells make them really easy to wear for long periods without any fatigue. The shells themselves are pretty simple, adopting that cool transparent look with that unique coin-like logo on the top plates. It's minimal, but it just works. At just 7 grams per earpiece without the cable, the ST2 Pros are super lightweight, and to be honest, you barely notice them in. The build quality is decent, though the materials are pretty basic overall, which makes sense given the affordable price. They have that plasticky feel, but honestly, they still look great. It might not feel super premium in hand, but it definitely has that premium look. The isolation on these is pretty solid thanks to the lack of vents which helps keep outside noise from messing with the music playback. It won't block out everything, but it definitely provides a good level of noise isolation for everyday use. The ST2 Pros come with a few ear tip sizes that are a step up from your usual black silicone ones. They feel smooth and have a nice grip, staying securely in place rather well. Now the real standout is the cable which integrates that Pro DAC chip. The connector has two visible windows just letting you peek inside at the components giving it that cool modern look. The cable is fabric covered but still super flexible and light, making it easy to handle. It also comes with a microphone and buttons for a hands-free experience. They work fine, but as you'd expect, the mic's quality and performance definitely reflect the asking price. It's functional but nothing to write home about. Now when it comes to audio quality, the Nebulas are surprisingly impressive. Despite having just a single driver, it handles every frequency with a nice crispness. While it follows the usual Harman 
2019 tuning, this version leans a bit brighter, with a stronger emphasis on the mid to highs. For a single driver per side, the performance is really interesting, especially when it comes to the clarity and precise staging. The sound isn't overly wide, but every note feels carefully placed in space, arriving at your ears with impressive clarity. The bass is a bit limited in sub-bass, but remains quite precise and dry. If I were to nitpick the sound a bit, the dynamics feel a little off, with the bass sometimes overpowering the mids and treble. This imbalance can make the overall sound feel less cohesive, with the highs having a hard time keeping up with the more dominant low end. The soundstage isn't super wide, but the DS SP does a great job keeping things clean with clear and precise sound placement. Sure, there are other IEMs that do it better, but honestly, for the price, this is still really impressive. Now, all in all, I think the Nebula is a solid choice for just about anyone, whether you're an audiophile, a music lover, or a gamer. I honestly think the earphones are tuned really well, and it's clear that Heidi Zoos put a lot of time and effort into getting the sound just right. For the current asking price, these are definitely a steal. If you're after an affordable pair of earphones that don't break the bank, come with a premium DSP cable, or want the ability to use your own and sound great across most genres, the Nebula ST2 Pros are definitely worth checking out. As always, be sure to check this product out in the link in the description. Let me know what you think. Till next time.